Now let's start working on the outdoor dashboard. Since layout is pretty much the same, we are simply going to copy content from the index.html again. Now open outdoor dashboard and create title and content sections. On the outdoor dashboard, we want to display a number of posts that are created by that outdoor today and a number of posts on for all time, a number of comments for today and a number of comments all time. And to do that, we will have to create a new relationship between user and the posts. Now, this function will return all the posts for that user, but we are going to create a new function which is only going to return posts that are created today. We are using where function and then we are checking if created at column is bigger or equals to today date. Now let's get back to the dashboard here and let's try to return that. And we have a typo here. The related model is post and not posts. Okay, so we can see that there are zero posts created today. So let's get back to the database and try to change the created at column for this post to 14. And as you can see, since today is 14th of March, you can see that there is one post created. And 
and this one should be easy. Let's also change the icons here. Now, for the comments today, we will actually have to write a little bit more of the logic. So let's open the outer controller. So first, we want to get list of posts for that user. but we only want to get an array of IDs. So to achieve that, we are going to use pluck function and define the column that we want to extract. And then using to array function, instead of getting collection, we will get an array of IDs. So let's try to dump this variable and see what do we get. And as you can see, we are getting an array of IDs. Now create a new variable named comments, which is equals to comment model and then we are going to use where in function which instead of an integer or string is accepting an array of something so we want to check where the post id is equals to posts and then we want to get that now using dump function, let's simply take a look what do we get. And as you can see, this array here has two items. Which is true if we take a look at the database. And now for the comments today, we will only have to use one more where function. Great, it returns zero and let's play a little bit with the database and change the created at date. And as you can see, it works.
but to make this a best practice we are simply going to cut this code and create a new variable here which will be called today comments and simply pass that variable as well. Great. Now let's simply get rid of this chart here since we will implement our own later in the course.